I see it, you've got two choices. Either dress for other people and always be worried about what other people are gonna think when you choose an outfit, or dress for yourself and have some fun while doing it. Which one sounds better to you? Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm super happy that you have clicked on this video today. So if you are new here on this channel, I speak to finding our confidence in our own personal style, as well as finding pieces that we absolutely love so that we can curate a wardrobe that we absolutely love and will have for years and years to come. Along with that, I like to share little tidbits on my own personal style, which is usually edgy, chic, minimalist. So if that sounds like something that you would like to join in on, make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes. Along with that, if you like lifestyle videos or vlog videos, I've also now started a vlog channel that focuses a little bit more on my lifestyle and is a little bit more casual, a little more personal, and maybe a little bit more creative. So you can definitely head over to that at the link down below and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell over there as well. Today's video is sponsored by Nord Green, so thank you very much Nord Green for bringing us today's video. All right, so we're looking at the fastest ways to your best personal style today, yes. So these are just a few little tips that I've pulled together that are kind of things that I've done over the years to build up my confidence in my own personal style. I've always loved fashion, I've always loved style, but I've definitely been through my roller coaster of, you know, self-doubt or, you know, peak confidence. So, you know, I've, I've been through it. So these are just things that have helped me to build the confidence in my own personal style. And I think when you exude that confidence, that's what makes great style and great fashion is that confidence. So that's really what we're trying to get to. But as well as that, ways to find and hone your personal style. Because I think some people just aren't really sure where to start on really trying to figure out what their actual personal style is. Okay, which brings me to today's sponsor, Nord Green. So Nord Green is a watch company that is based in Copenhagen. The watch collections are actually ethically made in Danish factories. So why I love my Nord Green watches is just because they are timeless. <laughs> timeless, get it? And minimalist and contribute to a great deal of my own personal style. So speaking of personal style, what I love about these watches is that not only are they stylish, but they have that functionality of also them being able to interchange the personal style of each watch with the different straps onto the different faces. They also use eco-friendly packaging made of upcycled plastics and FSC certified cartons and carbon neutral transport. So 500 products of Nordgreen's collections will be discounted at 40% off, but along with that, you can also use my discount code here for an additional 15% off your purchase. Yes. So make sure if you are in the market for a watch that you click that link down below and use my discount code to get a real good deal on a real good quality watch. All right, I think enough's been said. Let's get into this. All right, number one, cut yourself off. I guess what I mean by this is cut yourself off from comparison, any sort of opportunities for comparison. And you don't have to do this for a really long time. You just need to do it for a, a significant amount of time that will kind of help clear your head and give you a little bit pers of perspective on yourself, on your own kind of personal style and really let your you know, self be inspired by yourself. So what I did initially when I was really getting into the whole minimalist fashion is I actually um, unfollowed all of the brands, all of the other stylists, uh, fashion influencers, anything like that, that I was following on Instagram. Um, to more so than anything, it wasn't at that time anything to do with my personal style, it was more that I was trying to get rid of temptation um, for wanting to buy new things um, because I was really trying to just, you know, focus on being minimalist and focus on the pieces that I already had. So that was kind of the reason why I did it, but then over that time I realized how it was letting me gain perspective on my own personal style. So I really started to see that, you know, the things that I really liked and figured out the sort of style types that I was really drawn to. And so at that time I, I figured out that I love just straight up 
the minimalist look of t-shirt and jeans, but like a good t-shirt and a good pair of jeans, like not just like, you know, your run of the mill average. Along with that, I was able to really identify the style types that I was really loving, which was, you know, more of the contemporary, minimalist, sophisticated, classic pieces was really what I like to wear. So it just really allowed for me to discover myself because I think I wasn't distracted by anything else anybody else was doing. I have done it over the few years as well, where I've done like 30 day detoxes from social media just for a myriad of reasons, but one of them also just being for, you know, a good style refresh as well. Number two is a try on session. So a, a cool little exercise is a try on session. So maybe pick 10 of your favorite pieces or 10 of your favorite outfits. These pieces should be pieces that you feel absolutely amazing in, that you love, that you just feel super good in. And anytime you wear them, you know, you feel like you could take on the world. Figure out what it is specifically about each of those pieces or about those outfits that makes you feel that way. Because then what that's gonna do is one, it's gonna help you to identify it and to know for future what you should be going for. When I discovered, ah, wow, I really love the jeans and t-shirt look. More trying to figure out, well, what is it about these t-shirts that I love so much? Um, what is it that makes me feel so good in them? And for me, it was, I then figured out it was the fit, it was the drape. I loved how these certain t-shirts that were kind of always my go-tos, you know, draped and clinging to all the right places and just kind of gave that effortless, relaxed look, but still was super flattering and chic and um, elevated. Same thing with jeans, like why do I love jeans so much? And I think for me, it was just that there's nothing else out there tailored like jeans. There's nothing out there that can fit like jeans can. And as well as that, there's nothing that, you know, breaks into the body um, and kind of customizes its fit to your body as jeans do. So these were just things that I kind of discovered why I love these, why I love those things. And so what helped me with that then is going forward, I knew what I was looking for, I knew what I was after. And with those pieces, try to figure out what sort of style types each of those pieces are, because it will help you, you know, with these other tips that I'm gonna be talking about, and it'll just help you in discovering what your personal style is. Number three is find your counterpoint. So like I said, you know, once you're kind of figuring out what sort of style types you already have in your closet, um, if you love those style types, if you realize like, okay, these are style types that I absolutely love. I love wearing these. Um, these are what make me feel the best version of myself, but I'm looking to kind of push my style a little bit further. I'm, I'm feeling a bit stagnant. Um, I, I, you know, I want to, you know, push it and elevate it a bit further. So if you're feeling that way, then with those style types, what you can do is figure out kind of the counterpoint to that style type. So again, as me as an example, I love sophisticated pieces like blazers, button up shirts, chinos, jeans, that sort of thing. And so for me, I love to then counteract that or have contrasting that, you know, my more cutting edge, extreme pixie haircut. You know, I've been through a few different versions. It brings in that automatic contrast to um, that more sophisticated style type. Another one is that I love feminine pieces. I love, you know, really tight fitting jeans. I love drapey, clingy fabrics. Um, I love showing curves. So when I'm showing more feminine piece, when I have more feminine pieces, I like to counteract that then with uh, that boyish charm. So bringing in maybe one, two pieces or details. Cause then to me that just elevates the look a little bit further. It makes it a little less conventional. It balances it out. And by doing those things, it really elevates, just puts my own little twist on it. Okay, number four is take pictures of your favorite outfits. Um, so this one is kind of like seems obvious, but um, I mean, kind of go a little bit further. So obviously I think a lot of people will take photos and put them on their Instagram or the social media, whatever. And some people not as much, but there is something to say about when you do see a good picture of yourself in like a favorite outfit, where you just, you get like this burst of confidence where you're like, oh, okay, I look good. So I think by taking some pictures of your favorite outfits, you know, look at those pictures and figure out again, what is it about this outfit um, that I love so much? And maybe it's not even the outfit, maybe you're just like, oh, I love my makeup in that picture. So then you're like, all right, I'm gonna do my makeup like that every day or whatever. Um, or maybe it's your hair or just how you, you know, did a little style tweak that day. Like maybe it's a certain way you tucked in your shirt into your pants, whatever, I don't know. But by doing this and kind of 
you know, observing and taking note, again, it makes you more self-aware, makes you more confident, and it helps to then contribute to, you know, repeating that more and more. So you're not just kind of like taking a shot in the dark every day and being like, oh, I'll see, you know, how this turns out. Um, this will just help you then to replicate that and to build that confidence. It's just kind of a, like a, a good jump off point to, you know, kind of grow. Number five is eliminate meh. So I don't know if anybody else has seen the emoji movie, but that's kind of the meh that I'm thinking of. Um, it's just sort of that like, blah, you know, anything in your closet or anything that you're just not really excited about, get rid of it. If it's your hair, if you are not excited about your hair, if you wake up every day and you're like, really? I gotta style this again, girl. It is time to change it up then. Like, don't keep your hair if you're you're not excited about it, like change it up. It's easy enough to change it up and experiment and have some fun. It will always grow back. So it's not that serious. Definitely don't keep hair, a hairstyle that you're not super excited about. That is like base level, like personal style for sure. But then along with that, definitely with your clothes. If there's pieces in your closet that you're not super excited about, like just a blah, that's how you're gonna feel when you put it on. So what's the point? This is kind of like the opposite that goes to like what I always say, like wear what you love, only keep what you love. But yeah, it's basically that, like the opposite of that. Just get rid of anything that's not exciting to you, that isn't inspiring to you. It will definitely affect, you know, the whole rest of your feel or the rest of your mood you know, for the whole day. Number six is research. Research to me in so many different facets of life is extremely important. I'm all about that research. So when it comes to something as important as our personal style, this is definitely something we should be researching. So if you've been following my channel for a while, if you've been, you know, if you're following other channels, great, that's a great start because that's kind of research in itself because you're learning from experts and different people, different perspectives. So that in itself is already a great, great start. But I'd say take it even a little bit further. There's so much great information out there these days on almost too much information on style types, on style personalities, um, you know, different fits, like all that kind of stuff. There's so much great information. And the more that you know, even about stuff that's not pertaining to you, even stuff that's like, you know, maybe it's a style type that you have no interest in wearing ever. Um, but just the more information you can have, the more knowledge you have and the more perspective you have. And the more perspective you have, you're gonna have so much more fun with your own personal style. Um, it'll definitely open up kind of opportunities in that way. But along with that, again, it contributes to that confidence. And I think confidence and Again, what we're speaking to today, confidence is key for the best personal style. Number seven is open up to inspiration. So going off of, you know, doing your research and learning about different style types and different style personalities, when you do that, it kind of opens your yourself up to style inspiration, um, to different inspirations. And when you bring in inspirations, that is really what pushes your style further, what elevates your style further, and again, is gonna to contribute to that confidence. So um, again, this is a big thing for a lot of designers out there, is opening themselves up to inspiration everywhere. So, you know, it might sound cliche when people are like, I find inspiration everywhere. Well, I mean, it's true. If you open yourself up to that inspiration, to seeing somebody walking down the street that does not even come close to your style type, but you see them walking down the street and you're like, hmm, I really like how that person styled their scarf. I would have never thought to style a scarf that way. Bing, bang, boom. Translate that into your own personal style and it looks like you've completely reinvented the scarf. It's amazing what it can do then to your own style. Translate it into your own little twist. So you can copy the exact same outfit that I'm wearing, but if you kind of add in your own little twists, like maybe it's the way that you tucked it in or maybe it's the way you rolled your sleeve or whatever it is, or maybe you changed out like an accessory, automatically then bring it in your own style, your own little flavor to it. And from there, it's gonna blossom and grow. Um, I love a, a good metaphor, don't I? <laughs> from there, it's gonna blossom and grow into something that is yours. And then before you know it, you have the best personal style ever. So I think that's really what it comes down to is, is not being shut off by 
different things or different people um, but being being open and being open to ins being inspired, being open to collaborating, um, just being open to differences because you never know what that will result in. Okay, so that is it for today's fastest ways to our best personal style. Yes. So I'd say that you can do all of these things. Um, if you want, you can try all of these things or just pick and choose. Maybe there's like a few things you want to do or just even one. I think even just doing one will definitely bring you closer to your best personal style. So I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite one is. If you do some of these things, if you want to add anything, let's open up those conversations with each other too. Um, definitely, you know, collaborate with one another. So I hope that today's episode was helpful for you. You know what to do if it was. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes. And make sure to click that little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes. All this really, really, really helps me out. Helps me to break out into that YouTube world and grow as a YouTube creator. So I really appreciate any support you can get. All right, my friends. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.